Hey, you. Next up in my summer of 2024 reading list was A Psalm for the Wild Built, Becky Chambers' 2021 sci fantasy novella. This story follows sibling Dex, a tea monk in a post industrial pseudo utopian world where humans live in harmony with nature after the long forgotten collapse of their once advanced civilization. Dex is struggling to find purpose beyond their comfortable, albeit monotonous, life in the human settlements. Despite their success in their profession, Dex feels an inexplicable longing that drives them to explore the wilderness where they encounter a sentient robot named Splendid Speckled Mosscap, who has been sent from the wilds to study humans. Mosscap is charming and curious and genuinely interested in understanding human emotions and their society. The interactions between these two form the heart of the book as they set out on a journey together that leads to some terrifically interesting existential and philosophical questions. Mosscap is an absolutely fantastic and lovable character. It's innocence, curiosity, and sincere desire to learn about humanity provide a fresh perspective that challenges Dex's understanding of life and purpose. Mosscap's presence is a breath of fresh air, bringing light and warmth to every scene it is in. Its genuine questions and observations lead to some really profound discussions about what it means to live a fulfilling life, which is really the central theme of the book. On the other hand, I found Sibling Dex to just be a bummer of a character. While Moscap's enthusiasm and optimism are infectious, Dex's constant dissatisfaction, their purposeless meandering, their lack of agency, it's draining to read. Their humdrum demeanor and lack of direction translates into a narrative that stagnates quite a bit. Dex's interactions with Moscap are enlightening and full of potential, but their tendency to dwell on their shortcomings and unfulfilled desires come across as totally self-absorbed and definitely threatens to overshadow the more uplifting moments. A Psalm for the Wild Built revolves around existentialism, the quest for purpose, the relationship between humanity and nature. Chambers does an admirable job of involving these rather heavy themes in her narrative while asking some important questions. What does it mean to be content? How do we find our place in the world? Can we ever truly be satisfied? Or is the search itself the point? The book does its best to provide some answers for these questions, though I wasn't exactly thrilled about some of the answers' implications. Overall, I did give this book four stars, and I'll definitely pick up the sequel at some point in the future, though I'm not exactly scrambling to rush out and pick it up immediately. So in my tier ranking, a psalm for the Wild Bill is going to find itself right here at the bottom of the liked it tier, because I definitely liked it, but if I'm being perfectly honest, the apparent moral of the story just did not resonate with me at all. I have a fundamental disagreement with the conclusion that is drawn at the end of this book. Uh, please don't misunderstand me. I don't have to agree with everything in a book in order to enjoy it. But as you all should know by now, I'm a big proponent of theme, and this book's theme just really fell flat for me. Despite that, with respect to my enjoyment of this book, 
the incredible character that is Splendid Speckled Moss Cap did a great deal of the heavy lifting, enough so that I came away with more positive feelings about it than negative ones. If you've read A Psalm for the Wild Built, I'd love to talk about it with you. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.